with the first okay. demo, right? <coughs> okay. So our first demo is try to verify the process of our three-stage pipeline architecture, which can uh, let the audio sound play back smoothly. Which, uh, first of all, we will give a, a, an audio signal through the computer to the FPGA. And the FPGA circuit will read in the first first chunk of data into the 508. Till the 508 is, uh, 508 is filled, then the whole frame will be copied to the second 508. And um, in the second 508, it will reach uh, an idle state until the 508 out, the third, which is the third 508, to completely bring the data and be empty. After the third 508 is empty, we will copy the 502, the contents in 502 directly into the 508. So in this process, what we expect is there is no latency or delays between between every yeah, between between the every segments. By then, the result, our expectation of our expected result would be that there are per, just perfect sounds in playback, audio playback. <coughs> yep. So here now, I will show my demo one. Actually, we can control the left channel or right channel by mute. Mute one of them by the 17th and 16th switch. Yep. So this is demo one. Yeah, this is demo one. For playback. Yep. Trying to just do a subtraction and addition between two channels, two identical channels. What we expect is one channel with two uh, two magnitudes uh, of the, its uh, two times of its magnitude, which is the volume, and the second one will be muted. So this is demo two. You can hear this one is really s s small. But this one is much larger. Can you can you mute another one? Yep. Uh, so it's so this one is oh sorry. This is no output. No, it's not no output. It's actually very low oh, voice. Okay. Yeah. The problem with this one is actually we are not doing lossless com uh, communication. Because we are using the the sound cable to transmit, there is a, an ADC converter and DAC converter, which will introduce lots of noise and some delay that we cannot, we, we have no way to know. So, if if we play two soundtracks are not identical, then their subtraction would be would be not zeros, would be some there are still some values in it. But as you can see here. The sound volume is much smaller because, uh, oh, <coughs> fortunately, the two soundtracks are very closely follow each other, so we can get a much smaller magnitude. Yep. And demo three. Yep. Here's our demo three. So demo and three would be. Broad <coughs> diagram. Yeah. Demo three would be. Um, there's no block diagram for demo three. It, it's just made up. Oh, okay. I can show you. Show you guys. Oh, I can't. <coughs> okay. <coughs> so the demo three is um, basically a simulation demo dem uh, demonstration based on man lab simulation, uh, which to verify our result. The this one is uh, implemented by a fast IC, IC algorithm to process a mixed to try to recover a mixed signal from uh, from the estimations. So it's a whole process, which uh, from expectation, uh, we will, which is to help us to get a perceptual uh, feeling of how the achievement will be and what we can reach at the final stage. So finally, we can use it as a comparison with our final results. So let's now start with uh, demo three. Demonstration three. First of all, I will play five seconds of the mixed signal. Here it is. This is one soundtrack. So as you can hear, there are lots of noise. 
let me start with another, the second, um, yeah, the second channel. So there are still noise, noises. So this is the signal after mix. So now I'm gonna demo. Oops, sorry. Now I'm gonna demo the signal after reconstruction. So, so here one, this one is the, basically the noise. Okay. This one is after the signal reconstruction. So basically the left channel contains mostly the white noise and the right channel contains mostly the music. We can already already distinguish the music from noise by ear. Mm -hmm. and which means the signal to noise ratio increased dramatically and the estimate, estimation results are 